welcome you all here today, the press people, as well as the political parties. Uh, today we are gathered here for a brief press meet regarding some changes in the electoral matters. Through the media, we would like to go to the public to inform them that there are some changes in the electoral process, or process in the forms. Election Commission of India has made amendments in the Representation of People's Act 1950 and correspondingly there is a modification in the Registration of Electors Rule 1960. There are basically four changes. Now we have, uh, earlier we had one qualifying date for registration. Now we have four qualifying dates. Earlier it was just 1st of January. Now we have 1st of January, 1st of April, 1st of July, 1st of October. For any new voters to make, to <coughs> enter, the, enter into the electoral process, these dates are there. Earlier there was just one date. Now they can enter, as soon as they reach 18 years, they can enter their names through the portal. There are different mm. apps which I'll tell you in details. So they can have their registration through the portal or through the apps on 1st January, on 1st April, on 1st of July and 1st of October. So this is a major change. Like It's easier for the new voters to register themselves. And the user-friendly forms are also there for voter registrations. All these new forms and uh, registrations will start from 1st of August 2022. That is two days from now, like the day after tomorrow. The applicants becoming eligible on 1st of January as the qualifying date and subsequent qualifying days can submit their claims in Form 6. That's a new form introduced by the Government of India, by the Election Commission of India. It's Form 6 for the new voters. From the, for the current round of annual revision of electoral rules 2023, any citizen attaining the age of 18 by April 1st or 1st of July or October 1st of 2023 can submit an advance application for registration as voter from the date of draft publication of electoral rules. Let us highlight the small changes that has been this month, changes that has been brought about in the forms. Form 6, the, the revised Form 6 is only for registration of new voters. Form 6 is now for only new voters and the provision for application for shifting from one constituency to another in the earlier Form 6 has now been taken to Form 8. Form 8 is totally a new form. Mm. Now we have four. Uh, now we have uh, six, four forms. Early also four forms. Now we have four forms, but there's some changes. Six B is totally new. That's for Aadhaar linkage. Earlier form 001, form 001, which is for application for issue of replacement of epic has been merged in the newly modified Form 8. Mm. Form 8 and Form 8A. <coughs> Existing Form 8A, for trans if you have any change of constituency, transposition <coughs> of entry in the electoral road, it has been modified and brought to Form A8 for any corrections in the, to the particulars regarding change of constituency. And now it has been brought to Form 8. So in the Form 8, new 8, new form, it's now added that shifting of residence, if in case you shift your residence, it's now included in Form 8. If there is correction of entries in the existing electoral roll, if there's any name, 
corrections or any changes that you want to make in the existing electoral law, you can apply through Form 8. The issue of replacement of EPIC without correction. If you need any replacement, you have lost it, or there's some reason you want a uh, replacement, then you apply through Form 8. Mm. Request for marking somebody as disabled or person with disability, PWD that we say. That is again, this is a new option that has been entered in Form 8. Earlier there was no such option for any disabled mm. person. So this is a very new, good thing that yeah. the government has taken note of because they have to make lines and queues along with the normal people mm. for which they do suffer. And this is something that people will get to know that this so and so person is with disabled and they'll be uh, given a special uh, entry into the voting center. Form 6B. This is a new form. 6B is totally a new form. It is for seeding of Aadhaar number. Mm -hmm. And in case somebody doesn't have the Aadhaar number, they, there are other documents that have been, that are available. Persons can enter those other no documents in case they do not have Aadhaar, Aadhaar card. It's it must be told that Aadhaar card, declaration of Aadhaar card and CD of Aadhaar card with the, with the voter ID, it's voluntary. There's no force in that. If people are not willing, it is okay. There are other, other documents mm. to be given. So the other documents that can be given are NG and Rega job card, bank passbook or mm. post office passbook, health insurance smart card, issued on the, by the Ministry of Labor, driving license, bank card, passport, Indian passport, pension document with photograph, service ID issued to employees by central state government or PSU companies, official ID issued to MPs, MLAs or MLCs, Unique ID issued by Ministry of Social Justice and Environment. All these new forms will come into effect from 1st of August 2022. These new forms, this new system, new forms will be available. All these applications will be available through National Voter Service mm. Portal, which is available on the Google Play Store. We have been using it earlier also. Then the voter helpline app, Garuda app, line, which is being, Garuda app which is being used by the BLOs. In case there are elderly people who cannot use or is, in case there are people who cannot use any of these from the Play Store, they can contact the BLOs and get these registered. The BLOs will do it for the elderly people or those who are not quite IT savvy, they can approach the BLOs or they can call the BLOs and it will be done with the BLOs. All existing as well as the new voters, it is mandatory to fill up 6B. It's a new form totally. So we all have to fill that up. Whether we still have the voter ID, we have to fill that form up. So this is all I have to say and I would request you all, especially the press, to to, uh, to let the pub people know what are the changes, what they have to do. We will also cause awareness on this, for the awareness, and I've asked the IPR also to cause awareness in this. Also the political parties for letting the public know for, so that people are aware. Six. B form is new for new entries. There are four dates now, main main brief I'm saying, four dates now, qualifying dates for new and for new voters to make entries into the voting scenario. That is first January was already there earlier. Now first January, then first of April, first of July, and first of October. So there are four dates. Mm. And changes in forms, once they enter into the portal, they will get it's not, it's not very major changes. It's just that 6B is new, 
six earlier six there is one part has gone to six B. So all these changes it will be available on the portal. New forms it will come out automatically. Uh, so this is my appeal to the public through you that they will be able to register more. More and more will be able to register this time without any difficulty. So that is uh, my appeal to the public through you. Thank you. If there is any further that you would like to know, you can please raise questions. We will share some of the Yeah, uh, ma'am, the date, uh, the uh, uh, date is not written here. The entry date, entry date. That means for application. For first of August. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 2020. Yes, yeah. it is written here. I mean, it's written in. First of August 2022. That means four dates also. That means January 1, uh, April 1. Yeah. Uh, it is there. October 1. It is there. Mm -hmm. It is there, the four qualifying dates. Mm -mm. Oh, qualifying it is not there date, in no? the, the okay. Where is it not there? Mm -mm. Yeah. If you have any difficulty in filling it up or if there's any, you can just get back to us. If any voters find any difficulty, mm -mm. get back to us or get back to the BLOs. They are already trained. He has been trained yesterday, he took the training from uh, a team of officials were sent to Delhi for training and those team of officials came back and they are now training up the ele election officers of the district and also the master trainers who were there earlier. So four from our district had gone to attend the training yesterday in Nogao and they have come back and they will be able to further clarify the doubts if there is any. Mm. I think if you want to use, if you come across, or use Koli, you will get to know actually where the problem lies, I don't think so, there will be much problem in this because it's very user friendly as has been told. So request all of you from 1st of August, if they start using it, if they come across any problem, get back to us. Okay. Okay.